All right, guys. Um, real straightforward today. All I did was I took some sample problems of IXL. I just want to go over them. They all have to do with parallelograms and the properties of those shapes. Um, the number one mistake people make, and I'm going to tell this to you guys specifically because I know your class just loves to set everything equal to each other. Yes, most of these things are going to be congruent. No, they are not all congruent, and you cannot assume that everything's congruent going forward. I know you guys love to do that because it's just, it seems obvious, right? It's like what we do in geometry that things, why would I be asking you this question unless they are congruent? But remember, we have other relationships we have. We have uh, specifically for parallelograms, we have uh, supplementary angles and things like that. Um, and uh, we just have to keep an eye out for that. So here, they say they want to find this value of z. Okay, so what's the equation you can set up? Well, they gave you the two opposite sides of a parallelogram, and we know the two opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So we're going to say 2z is equal to z plus 19. Okay, and this is, again, real simple. I'm going to subtract z from both sides. I'm going to find out that z is equal to 19. Okay, you want to double check. 2 times 19 is 13, is uh, 38, and 19 plus 19 is also 38, okay? All right, here. They want to know the length of this side right here, okay? So we know that the side across from this, the side opposite from this is congruent, but that has a variable v, okay? Well, what can we do? Let's take a look at the other sides. Oh, we can set these two sides to each other equal, solve for v, plug v in for here, and then move it over here. So we're going to solve for v here, but that's not going to be our answer. Our answer is actually going to be what we plug when we get into here. So let's start by saying uh, 12v plus 21 is equal to v plus 32. Again, let's be smart about this. I'm going to move these numbers over here. 12v is equal to v uh, plus... 11, these go to 11, subtract v from both sides, I'll find out that 11v is equal to 11, or v is equal to 1. So since v is equal to 1, let's double check, uh, 12 times 1 would be 12, and 12 plus 21 would be uh, 33, and 32 plus 1 would be also 33, so that's good. But again, that's not our answer. Our answer, they wanted ps, which is over here opposite from this, these are the sides that grew it. Well, 17 times 1 is just 17. Okay. All right, here, again, uh, they want to know angle S. So, again, important things to know is that these two are across from each other. Opposite angles in a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, so yes, we will be setting them equal to each other. 2A is minus 66 is equal to A. Let's subtract 2A from both sides. Um, don't freak out because you get negative numbers here. This is fine, okay? So uh, negative 66, A minus 2A is going to be negative A, which means that A is equal to 66, okay? Um, again, things to look out for if you get a negative number as the angle, you did something wrong, okay? Uh, there are times where the variable might be negative. There might be a negative number that makes this one true. It can't be for this one because A is actually an angle. But sometimes your variable can be negative, but your angles can obviously not be. Okay. Uh, if EG, EG, 6W plus 19, and EI, 16W minus 1. Okay. Well, what do we know about these? Well, we know that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect one another. So we can say 6W plus 19. Well, if they're bisected, they have to be congruent to each other, okay? Again, let's go ahead, let's do a smart, let's subtract 6w, let's move the smaller numbers over, 19 is equal to 10w minus 1, let's add 1. Okay. Again, they're, they're keeping you up on your algebra skills here, just to kind of keep you fresh so we can use them next year, um, but what they really want to know is... Um, you know, that you understand the properties. Now, be careful. W is equal to 2, right? So we added 1 to both sides, and we divided by 10. Um, but W is equal to 2, but we don't want W. We want to know how long are these parts, okay? So EI is 16W minus 1, or 
times 2 minus 1. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 minus 1 is 31. Okay, if you want to double check that, we could plug it in here. 6 times 2 plus 19 is 12 plus 19, which is going to be 31. Okay, so always good to check, especially with problems like this that really shouldn't take you all that long. Um, okay, um, I've included this problem just because we need, it's a rectangle. All the things we said about parallelograms are also true about rectangles, and they want both sides in this case. They want ST and they want RS, okay? So again, how are we going to solve for it? Well, we need something we can set equal to each other or supplementary. Uh, in this case, this decides. So we want to know which sides we set equal. No, because I don't know what they are. But here, these two, I do have something I can use. Y plus 7 is equal to 6Y minus 8. Again, take the smaller numbers from either side and subtract them. Keep everything as positive as you can. So what I'm going to get, I'm going to get 5y is equal to 15. So what I'm going to find out, y is equal to 3. So again, that makes this side 10, and three, uh, 6 times 3 is 18. 18 minus 8 would also be 10. So these are going to be 10. And uh, on this side, rs is going to be 3. Okay, it's just y by itself. Okay, so again, pick the easier one to plug into, but in this one, I mean, come on, guys, they're linear. You should be able to solve those in a few seconds. Okay, um, here is where you guys are going to set things equal, and you're going to mess up. These things are not equal. This is clearly an acute angle. This is clearly an obtuse angle. So what you need to remember is that consecutive angles in a uh, quadrilateral or in a parallelogram, rather, are going to be supplementary. Um, they also know that this is a rhombus. Um, while that's a nice nugget of information, it really has no, it could have been any type of parallelogram. But again, it goes back to the first day we were talking about these things. If you have a rectangle, all the rules for a parallelogram apply to it. A rhombus is a very specific parallelogram. So again, what are we going to say? We're going to say V minus 18 plus 2V minus 42 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So... Again, there's nothing to simplify in here or simplify in here, so you can drop the parentheses. Okay, and now we're back to, you know, pretty basic math problem. Um, let's combine the like terms, okay? So I have a V here and 2V here. That makes 3V. Negative 18 and negative 42. Uh, last I checked, that makes negative 60. Okay, and now, again, if you want to divide by 3 first, here would be a good opportunity to do it, but let's stick to the basics. It's 60 to both sides. 3V is equal to 240. Let's divide by 3. Let's find out that V is equal to 80. Now, again, not what they asked you for, right? Definitely not what they asked you for. What they asked you for were these two angles. So 80 minus 18. So 80 minus 18. Okay. 80 minus 18 is going to be uh, 62 degrees. Um, and again, you have two two ways going about this. Well, you know they're supplementary, so what plus 62 makes 100, uh, 180, and that would be 118, right? These have to add up to 180. So 162 and 118 is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, 62 and 118 is going to be 180. But again, if you want to check it, 2 times 80, right? Plug in 80, that's what we found out V was, minus 42. Well, 2 times 180 is going to be... Uh, 160 and 160 minus 42 will be 118. Okay, so that's about um, all the next questions they're going to ask you. Um, I probably will send out some more, uh, uh, I don't want to say complicated problems because they're not going to be any harder than this, but they're going to test you on some of the um, other attributes. Um, I excel seems to be pretty limited in asking like these four or five different types of questions. I have a few I personally would like to know, so you'll probably get some extra work from me next week. Okay, so uh, all right, have a great weekend. Talk to you guys soon.